Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here today. Today we are just going to play with some blue makeup to go with this wig. I don't know, I'm just feeling kind of blue and mermaid-y. So that's what we're going to go for. And I figured while we did this, we would talk about palettes that I wish I had bought or that are still on my list. I listed mostly palettes that are no longer available. I just figured it would give us something to chat about. So yeah, stay tuned. So my camera came, it came much faster. I was able to gather the money to buy a new one. So I'm super freaking excited about that. Um, like so excited. Okay. I need to find my primer. Sheesh, my desk is a mess. I, for my brows, I use the ELF uh, Teal Tees. I think this is a like a liquid, or not liquid, a cream eyeliner. I used it for my brows, and then because those are kind of greasy, I set it with a color from the Ace Beauté Flare Palette. Palette. I used Atlantis. Um, so yeah, I thought it turned out okay. I hope this video is not too long. I hope all of the settings are correct. Again, like I said, this is like my new camera. Although it's the same camera I had, the settings are all different. And so I don't the settings are i set them differently anyways they're not all different so i'm just kind of hoping that um everything films okay you probably hear spongebob out in the living room that would have been my kids um you know because spongebob is fun i haven't done my blush yet i did a little bit of bronzer but i wasn't sure what i wanted to do for my blush and don't worry the wig will look a little bit better once everything is all set up i know it looks a little bit funky anyways anyways what do i want to do i grabbed the fairy blush palette because i thought i was going to use this teal shade but it might be just a little bit too light but maybe i could do like dark and then go light i'm a little bit scared to do that but let's try it i'm gonna go into the blue clam it's just called blue clam blue clam it's from ace beauté oceanic palette so uh a palette that is not discontinued that i kind of want is um it's still available is the whale song palette by menagerie i just made one palette order from them when they did their restock and i got the um what is it called it's the one with the lion on it i don't remember what it's called but i really almost bought the whale song but then i was like i don't need a whale song because i have this palette but I kind of low-key really want that palette even though I probably well I know I don't need it so there's that um so another palette that I really kind of want I'm gonna go into Fuji did you see that yeah Fuji um is the uh, Melt Cosmetics Verde palette. Is it Verde? Morte. Morte. That's what I mean, not Verde. Um, yeah, the Melt Cosmetics Morte palette. Gosh, I almost bought that palette and I didn't. And I regret it because everybody loved it so much. And it's like not available anymore. So yeah, I kind of low key, not low key. I really want that palette. Another two by Melt Cosmetics that I really want is the um, Beetlejuice collection. I am a huge Beetlejuice fan. I have all of the Beetlejuice pops. 
Um, I love Tim Burton. Like, I just, yeah, I love Tim Burton. I don't know if I'm in focus. I love him and uh, yeah, I really wanted that those palettes, but they were really kind of expensive and I just at that time I didn't have the funding to purchase them. So I didn't get them and I really wanted them. Both of them. I'm gonna go back into Blue Clam. And the other one is the Gemini palette, which is like not available anymore apparently. Um, I didn't see that happening, so that's a little disappointing. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry my phone is going off. It's actually Beauty Beat down here on YouTube writing me on Insta. But, uh, yeah, I really wanted that palette. Should I scoot you guys up closer? Maybe. I don't know. And then you'll hear my stupid mic, which I still haven't figured out. It's so freaking annoying. Um, I know there's more palettes that I want. I wrote a list and then I forgot it at work because I wrote the list on my lunch break at work. I took Lagoon. It's a little bit darker. You might make fun of me for this one because this one's like the palette really. I don't know, wasn't like anything to write home about, but I love the packaging and the glitter and I don't know, I just really liked the vibe of it. And that's the Tarte Cosmetics High Tides, oh, uh, High Tides Good Vibes, I think is what it's called. I almost got it but then I didn't uh, I'm going to bring that lagoon down but yeah I thought that palette was beautiful and I love I like glitter so the pressed glitters in it didn't really throw me off and I actually have three turtles tattooed on my leg so I mean obviously I like turtles my mom really likes turtles um I'm gonna go into Blue Clam again, which is the medium. Well, it's not really medium, it's this one. Yeah. Um, yeah, I kind of wanted that palette. Maybe that's weird, but I did. Are there any palettes that you guys like missed out on that you want or palettes that are still out that are on your list that are older um the uh, other palette that is discontinued that I really want is the um sugar pill Edward scissor hand palette again I love Tim Burton and I love Edward Scissorhand. I have all of those pops. I'm going back into the Fuji. And uh, I would love to have that palette. It's so old now. I think it's like at least five years. I wasn't into makeup at that point. <laughs> Not really. And so, yeah, I didn't even know it existed. And now it's gone. And that makes me sad I mean not really sad but you know like I, I would love to have it even if I got it used I I mean I, I would love to just have it and love it and maybe try to pop out the shades and buy new ones or something I don't know if you can do that with the sugar fill palettes but if you could, that would be really fun. 
I also really want the, um, I say all this lightly. I mean, they're palettes that I want, but you guys, like, I want a subculture so bad. I've considered buying subculture used. I'm going into the Fairy Blush palette and I'm going into the, um, Aquamarine. Um, I've considered buying it used. But I've never shopped off of Macari before, and so I'm scared to to do it. I don't know. Have you guys used Macari? Is it safe? Is it or Poshmark? Which one's better? I I have no idea. Um. But yeah, I I've considered doing that. But I don't need to, but I would love to have it. Again, that was kind of before my time with makeup, but also like financially, I was less stable at that point than what I am now. So $50 or whatever for a palette was a lot. And I kind of low-key want the Tarte um, True Blood palette. Oh, it's so nostalgic. But you know, I like a lot of these for the color story too. Even though they are basic, I would use it. So just, just throwing that out there. I'm not trying to be like, yeah, I want these palettes for the packaging. Although I want the Edward Sister Hand palette for the packaging. I'm not going to lie there. Not gonna lie there well I've never done a reverse smoky eye before it's interesting I'm not sure how I feel about it I brought out my glitter I was gonna use but I don't know where I would put it with a reverse smoky eye I'm not even sure where I would put a shimmer with a reverse smoky eye. I don't know. Anyways, I am gonna do this eye off camera and I'm gonna come back because I think I'm gonna do more stuff like I want to do more stuff. I don't know what that means, but I'll be back in just a minute. I am back. I have lashes. I did a waterline. I used Illuminati Electric Blue Liner. I love these liners. I have two of them. I don't know if they make more than two, but you know. And I am going to use this Wet n Wild highlighting powder. It's called Halo Walkers. It's probably discontinued. It's just a blue highlighter. It's from the uh, Game of Thrones, I believe. Pretty sure that's what it's from. Great series. You hear SpongeBob? I am totally sorry. I haven't used this highlighter in years. I actually just disassembled my um, freelance kit because um, I had bought stuff while I was in school to use on other people. Um, and that's why there's chunks missing out of it because you don't, we, we, yeah, you don't just sanitize your palettes and then use them on multiple people. Um, no, you clean them and you only take pieces out of it. Um, at least that's how I was trained and that's kind of how I s do it. I prefer not to get anybody sick even if I'm spraying the product with alcohol. It's just not as foolproof as using a clean um, spatula and removing product. So, yeah. This highlighter is okay. I'm kind of placing it all over because why not? Give myself a blue nose. You know, I haven't turned the TV down quite a bit and it's still really loud. I'm starting to think that the kids may have figured out 
how to turn it up by themselves like using a tablet or a phone and Google Home or something like that because this TV doesn't have a remote well it you can't it doesn't have buttons you have to use a remote or like Google Play or Google Home I mean so yeah I know I look kind of funny uh, okay now the question is is do I really want to go extreme and like I don't know add some you know like scales like do I want to do that or no I don't know I'm kind of feeling like why not kind of I don't know I'm just gonna go for it I really don't care maybe I ruined this look I could ruin this whole entire look um but should I do light to dark should I do I don't know what I want to do I'm gonna go into blue clam sorry for the noise oh I have been using the NYX can't stop won't stop um foundation that I have to use it up it's in my project pan and I hate it <laughs> I absolutely hate it. I don't know if it's because it's older and the product's just not very good or if the product's just, I mean, expired or if the product is just really not good. I'm kind of getting a feeling that the product just sucks, but I could totally be wrong. I'm going to go into Fuji. Um, I, I don't know. Have you guys used it? Do you, do you like it? Um, tell me because I'm really considering just calling it quits and getting rid of it because I hate it that bad. And that says a lot because I don't normally like mind. I, I don't know. I'm not really super picky about foundation. It looks okay on camera. But in real life, you guys, it looks like shit. So I'm going to go into Lagoon. Um, yeah, I think in real life, it's really ugly. Um, it just kind of sits on my face. It doesn't like actually. I mean, here, let's see if I can show you. I don't know if it's showing up on camera or not. But on my nose, it's really bad. It just, it doesn't, it doesn't sit on my face right. Like, I just, I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea if I just ruined this makeup. I'm going to go into the highlighter and just throw it on top. Did you guys watch the Game of Thrones? That's another palette I kind of low-key want is the palette. I think it's by Sephora. Um, the Game of Thrones. I know the packaging was kind of like annoying, but I kind of, yeah, yeah, kind of like it. Oh, uh, no, my wig's all tangled. It's fine. I will brush it out in a minute. And I know I don't have my wig glued down. It's fine. I'm not wearing it out. If I was wearing this wig out, which I do wear wigs out, by the way, but not when it's like 110 outside. Well, it's like 100, but like in Oregon, 100 is really hot. Like, we're not used to that shit, you guys. We're in extreme drought. Actually, there's a fire that happened that was five miles from my house. I was scared we were going to have to evacuate, but they eventually got it under control, so that was cool. Okay, 
so anyways this video is probably far too long oh i need an inner corner highlight even though i did a reverse smoky eye i feel like i need a highlighter in so i'm gonna go into bora bora and place that on my inner corner just like that I have no idea what I want to do for my lips for a siren mermaid kind of thing I'm not sure I like what I did up here I don't think it really adds a whole lot, but it's fine. It's cool. I don't really care. I can remove it if I wanted to, too. Although this foundation is not very forgiving. Anyways, I'm going to throw on a lippy and I am going to brush my hair and I'm going to throw on this like mermaidy kind of crown and I'll be back quickly. Okay, you guys, this is the finished look. I know I didn't um, talk about a whole lot of palettes, but I mentioned a few that I still wish I could buy and that I would likely start purchasing if I could. Uh, let me know which palettes you want to buy or wish you could still buy or palettes you have FOMO about or whatever. Um, for my lips, I threw on a KBD lippy and dreamer i know it's a lot but i figured we kind of just went all out anyways so why the hell not i mean how often can you wear a blue lippy and get away with it only when you're dressed like this i mean i'm not really dressed like anything you guys let's be real i have a tank top on <laughs> um but you know if i was gonna go out anywhere anyways and I took the Apocalyptic Beauty Siren Glitter Siren Glitter and I just took one of the shells out and placed it on my head like that. That's all I did off camera as well as threw on this cool little gemstone um, tiara I guess is what it is. Uh, yeah, would you be embarrassed to go out with me like this? I would totally go out like this you guys and you know what's even better is I would go out like this and I would go out in my tank top and my my yoga pants <laughs> anyways thank you for being here hopefully you found this interesting and yeah bye